Let's talk about some stuff happening around the NFL, more specifically your Green Bay Packers. Mark Murphy was speaking down at the league meetings, and he talked about a couple different things. One conversation was, wait a minute. Are the Packers going to have to leave Green Bay Uh-oh. because of a lease issue that's taking place? We all, with <laughs> um, you know, knowledge of the real estate situation in Green Bay and how much money the Packers make off the real estate around the state, I think it's like $250 million a year off of everything that they own around it, the Packers will never leave Green Bay. Yeah, they're going to be there. That's going to get figured out. They are. The, but to talk about having a game in Brazil, I didn't even think about for Mark Murphy. He laid out a couple of the issues potentially for the Packers that other teams don't have, but if that's the case, that's the case, he said. Here's president of the Green Bay Packers talking down at the league meetings about an international game being from Green, or traveling from Green Bay. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll, uh, I think we'll obviously hear soon on that uh, with the league. Yeah, we're very supportive of you know, international play. The one issue with Green Bay, though, is are the size of our airport and the size of our runway. Uh, and we want to make sure that we're not at a competitive disadvantage in terms of how long it's going to take us to get to Brazil. Uh, you know, there's some, <clears throat> some thought that we might have to bus to Milwaukee and then fly, uh, you know, just some of those things. So, but, you know, if, and I anticipate probably within a within the week we'll find out uh, so it's either us or cleveland uh if they choose us we'll welcome it uh, i think it'd be exciting you know, come on Kaboli. first game ever <laughs> in brazil and uh could be exciting but want to make sure that we're uh you know some of those things are worked out so is that the excuse not that it's an excuse it's very real anybody that's seen american made tom cruise trying to take off in Venezuela, uh, I yeah. forget which kind. I think Venezuela, short runway, heavy plane, clips the trees on the mm-hmm. way out. We were actually told the other night, heavy plane, short runway, going to be an aggressive takeoff. We're going to have this uh, nose to the sky pretty quickly. Runway length, for those that you know wouldn't know, most humans, I've just realized it as of late, is a massive piece of conversation of where you can fly, where you can't fly. You add in any weather to the length of the runway, it's a whole nother conversation. Has this been the excuse to the Packers out of Green Bay is that they don't have a runway long enough (laughs) for an international flight, which is why? They've only gone to England one time, right? It was when Aaron Rodgers took on the Giants just a couple years back. They were the last team, I believe, to go international. And whenever the NFL laid out all the international markets for teams, like the Colts have Germany, uh, I think the Patriots also have Germany. Mm -hmm. There's some people that are in South America. There's some people. The Packers are the only team that doesn't have any international affiliation. Is Mark Murphy in there going, you can give us our, we can't get there. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, Sorry. You want us to drive two and a half hours to Milwaukee? Then we got to fly 10 hours to these places? We don't even have a runway long enough in Green Bay to get out of there if we had to. Is that is that what it's been? That's amazing. I didn't know that that was the case. And also, I kind of like the fact that Mark Murphy's like, we're a Green Bay's team. We're not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. We're put here. We can't even get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> we can't even get out of here if we wanted to. Has that been the case all along? I did not know that was that was what it was over there, AJ. Oh, this was the that, the first I heard of it is when when Mark Murphy laid out like that. I mean, is that big a huge disadvantage? If you say you had to fly to Milwaukee and get on a bigger plane and then go, I guess that's one extra stop, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess it's two flights instead it's of. It's a one. great excuse, though. Great way to not get to try to. Yes. Say, because you don't want to give up a home game. No one wants to give up a home game to go play overseas somewhere. You want that that home game money to continue to come to you. So it's great. Hey, I not, why not try everything to not have to play over there? We don't That's even have a like, feels over. like they're doing. What are you talking about? We can't, can't even. Can't do it. We can't even get there. What is the other team? The other team gets to fly right there. We got to fly to yeah. a place and then fly again. Mm-hmm. Our players that, don't even have passports. Brazil? You yeah, want we, us to go all the way there? We can't there? print passports in Green Bay. No. We, we don't have no. the, no. We don't have the yeah. FedEx. No. We don't no. have the ability to do it. CVS doesn't do it anymore. Mark Murphy just being like, we are keeping all of our home games. Well, how do you plan on doing that? Yeah. I'm telling him we can't even get to any place. It's possible. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Do you guys fly out of Green Bay for away games? You would, right? Everything, yeah. In the airport, there is called Austin Straubel International Airport as well, but it's not really international. Whoa, yeah. Well, Canada. I bet what's that about? Canada. What's that about, Con Man? Well, they're just that's a marketing ploy, I would assume. They, they probably receive certain they benefits being an international. Get yeah, get to Canada or Mexico. Yeah, that's yeah. got to be the only reason they can call it that. So, how much bigger does the runway have to be for a flight? Six feet, I think. 
I mean, we flew West Coast out of there, so you can fly big old planes. I don't know. I don't know if you need international. Sounds whatever like that bullshit. Means. Six feet feels a bit uh, not. That not was like a it's lie. A, that was a lie. Yeah. That was a lie from Tone. It's like a Bills parking. But there, spot. there's so here in Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah, bingo at the Buffalo Bills to add for the celebration. Here in Indianapolis, there's a regional airport that is much closer to our houses, mm-hmm. yep. and then there's the international airport that is. So far away, so, so, far, so, far, so far, so far away, and there's been a couple times where it's like, hey, because of weather, because of rain, because of whatever, gonna have to land at the international because it has longer runways than at the regional one, and it's that's a that's a bummer. But that was when I learned about this entire thing. Mark Murphy utilizing that as an excuse not to go to international respect. games and not having a way. I respect the hell out yeah, of it. Don't you think? Him. I think what he wants to say is, hey. I don't know if you guys know this. Our home games are sold out for the next 100 years. A lot of places are trying to get mm. people in the stands. I mean, look at Carolina. Look at other situations around the league. Like, it doesn't <laughs> affect them as much to lose a home game. Did you play in the international games? Yeah, London. How, did you win or lose? Uh, tied. What? Oh, oh, gross. Ooh, the worst trip ever. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah. The international games are tough. It was. The field wasn't that good, though. Slick. Yeah, real slick. Yeah, that's what uh, J.J. Watt talks about that whenever we have the grass or turf convo. Yeah. He's like, everybody just wants them to do what they do for soccer where they put this grass on top of the turf. Why don't you do that for us? JJ's like, some of those grass, that's bad grass. Yeah. It always looks sloppy out there, I feel like, when you watch the London games. You never played international, right? Because Mark Murphy said, we can't get there. Yeah, right. The entire time. Couldn't get there. You know, we had that short one way. We knew that all along. (laughs) Hey, we can't go, guys. Sounds like that's AJ's idea. AJ might have fed that to Mark Murphy. Because he is in Pilot Magazine. Yes. Yeah, you're right. And he did (laughs) do flying for a couple couple hours. Listen to this. (laughs) Obviously, my dumb brain. uh, (laughs) You know, there's a limit to how big the plane is that you can get out of here. Mm -hmm. We can't get to England on any plane. Can't do it. The amount of gas that is needed to get to England. Yeah. Not gonna be able to get out of here. It's not big enough. Right, Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy you right, Jimmy? Jimmy tell, Graham? Tell him. Tell Raj. Yeah, yeah Jimmy, Jimmy Graham. Yeah. Tell yeah. Jimmy. I can get the helicopter out of here if I had to. And there's AJ right afterwards. He yeah. said I beat the game. Yep. I, I, did. I just kept hundreds cool. of millions of dollars in Green Bay for all the home Thank games. Thank you, AJ. Cool. That's a massive disadvantage though. Huge. Yeah. Having your home game get taken away and go send other places. Yeah. Dallas Cowboys, they're making seventy seven million a day. Yeah. A game day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now Ooh. they're by far the highest grossing team in the NFL, but you take that money out of there. I mean, that's a big deal. That's why there's been a lot of, uh, you know, pushback business-wise from the international games. But once you zoom out big picture, getting football into South America, more money, more money for everybody down the road. 